It's KPOI 105.9, the big kahuna, Honolulu's only classic rock. Dave Lawrence with you, and we are pleased to welcome a true rock legend whose music you've appreciated for decades and who's coming to the Diamond Head Crater Celebration April 1st. It is our pleasure to welcome to 105.9, the big kahuna, the great Steve Guitar Miller. Aloha, <laughs> Steve. Hello, Dave. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. A huge mahalo. And uh, um, even though I'm really a, a young cat, you've been a, a flavor in my life for so long, going well, back. And look how well you turned out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's huge, man. I feel like such a little kid getting to talk to you. And well, you, you're a hero of good times. So thanks for taking a little bit of time to be on my show. Oh, uh, well, it's my pleasure. And we're really looking forward to playing in the crater again. You know, it was... Uh, January first, nineteen seventy, the last time we were in there. Wow! So that's quite quite a while ago. Thirty six years ago. You got the <laughs> and, date uh, down and everything. January first, nineteen seventy. Yep, uh, and uh, I was just a little kid then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm I'm really looking forward to coming back. I just heard uh, Linda Ronstadt's going to do the show with us, and War is going to be there, and the Honolulu Symphony and the Tico drums. So it's going to be a really really great night of music. Man, and uh, now when was the last time you were just in the state at all, Steve? Probably six years ago, something like that. We, we, uh, I, you know, I'd, I'd have to look it up because we toured so much in the in the nineties. We were just on the road all the time, so but it was sometime in the late nineties. Sometime in the late nineties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, it was, uh, it, and this is a kind of a you know a unique place. I always ask people that because Hawaii is also a spot that people can come to. Even if the you know performers come here just because they love the the place as a as a vacation getaway. Oh, always, you know, and and just great people. I mean, we've we've played uh, over the last forty years. We've probably played there fifteen twenty times, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's always something we look forward to. Bands very excited to be coming. Besides, you know, it's uh, twenty one degrees here today. <laughs> There's five feet of snow on the roof, but. Blue skies and the wind's blowing about eight miles from the north, so that'll give you a, a, a that'll motivate you to get over to the island. <laughs> <laughs> what state is that that you're? Uh... I'm in I'm in Sun Valley, Idaho. Man, that was. Uh, can you go over those temperatures one more time? Because that was some brutality. I just want to hear. Uh, uh, that. Oh yeah, let, let me see here. I was just looking up the weather. It's 21 degrees, <laughs> blue skies. Winds out of the north eight miles an hour, and the visibility's thirty miles. Man, it's crystal clear, and we're at about sixty-five hundred feet. What's the snow going on? We got some snow on the ground. Well, there's uh, probably five and a half feet of snow on the ground, and uh, it's going to snow for the next four days. Uh, it snow's coming in tonight. Man, so that really—that's inspiration for thinking <laughs> about the the flip side of that. While you guys are out there in the waves, we're out here on the mountain, you know. <laughs> Is that where is that where you're shacking up these days? Yeah, that's I've, I've lived here for a long time. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And one residence? Do you do you go to other places in the country, or is that just where you? Uh, no, it's, this is headquarters. You know, it's where we where we are. So uh, that's that's enough. <laughs> SMB headquarters, as yeah, I like to say. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so when I think of the of this gig that you're about to do here, Steve. Yeah. Um, it's is there another because your memory obviously either either I don't know how you came up with that great date because rarely do I talk to someone and they can spit out a date like the way you did where, <laughs> uh, of your last appearance here. Um, have you done other unique settings like a volcano crater that that when you think back over your career, just things that pop into your head like you know like a red rocks kind of stuff? Oh sure, you know there uh, you know red rocks of course, Lorelei in Germany, uh, the gorge in in. Um, Washington State, which overlooks Columbia River. Um, we did um, a lot of amazing concerts on the tour. We did all across Canada and um, <clears throat> Winnipeg, you know, places like that, very far away. We've, we've played a lot of uh, unusual uh, <laughs> places. You, you can't really avoid it, you know, when you've been touring as long as we have. But, um, <laughs> You know, if it's if it's an interesting place we want to play, and of course, playing in the crater is you know it's kind of a sacred thing. It's really a, a very special place. What are some of your memories? Well, it was really exciting because um, it was uh, a, a real special concert. It was the first time I believe they'd done uh, a concert in the crater, and it had that uh, you know everything is new kind of uh, vibe to it. That uh, thing, you know, in San Francisco, we kind of 
developed doing these concerts, and then we sort of started going out around the world, and it was like we were bringing the the culture of the big outdoor concert to people. So it was a brand new event, and uh, everybody was really excited, and it had uh, you know that sort of gathering of the tribes kind of feel <laughs> to it, you know. <laughs> And um, th- it was a big audience, and everybody had a great time. It was hotter in heck. I remember that too. So uh, it it had that feeling of like you know the first event, and um, that you know doesn't happen very often. So it was a real special day. Like who? who do you remember who you shared the bill with? You know, I'm uh, Linda Ronstadt was on the show with us, and um, I'm trying to. I can remember the day just as clear as a bell and i remember the set we played and i you know i I, but i can't remember who else was on that show that's interesting then so they're like by putting linda ronstadt back on with you they're kind of recreating then some aspect of the bill yeah maybe war was even possibly on the i think i think uh war did uh, did their own show i think but they may have been been on that show you know but i remember it was a beautiful day and and uh, you couldn't play after dark then, and I think we're going to be the first band to play under lights in the crater. They're going to light the crater up, and it's going to be really beautiful. So, so when you played at the first... Santana wasn't on the bill with you when you did that other one, was he? I, I don't think so. Um, when you did the first one, you played during the day. Yeah, right. And there, were no, there was no lighting or anything, but you did play with a big PA and stuff. Yeah, right. That was the big deal, you know. It was the uh, real exciting, uh, you know, the big PA. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was like you know. So they did have some gear up there. There were other bands, and oh yeah, yeah, it and, was a big show, yeah. And you and your memory, your memories of it. Uh, you stayed for like an extent. A lot of bands. When I had Neil Sean from Journey on, he had very he had cool memories of coming here because they had made like a several week visit out of being here in Honolulu. They like camped out in town for a bunch of time. Right. Uh, Sure. Uh, did you do anything like that, or was it more of a, of a... Yeah, and then we'd go over to Maui, and we'd play over there, and we'd go to the Big Island and play there, and, and um, we, you know, it's a long trip, it's a lot of equipment, it's a, a you know, it's a, it's a big deal, so once you get there, you want to make the most of it, of course, you know, it's not like just flying in with your suitcase when you, I mean, we actually came over with our PA system several times, played at the university there, and and, um, You've done the show as well. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, we've. I think we've played just about everywhere. You hooked it up, yeah. When I was doing my homework on you, uh, I realized you've done a lot of gigs out here, and uh, I've been lucky enough to see you about five times, Steve. Oh. Uh, and I did did my homework and tried to remember. I saw a pair of shows one time. I bet you'll have some cool memories of this tour. You were opening for the Dead during their '92 tours, big stadium shows. I saw you at Giant Stadium. It was like seventy thousand people each night. And yeah, you, yeah, sure. And you came out and jammed with them. It was amazing. Like you just added so much of a different dimension to to their sound. Well, you know that that was really a, a fun tour. I think it was '93, but uh, you may be right. <laughs> but '93 uh, yeah, was staying actually out and just play with. Uh, uh, Jerry and, and Bobby and Mickey and the guys, you know, because I mean, we've known each other forever, and, and that turned out to be a really great tour. I think we did 10, ten dates with them and uh, right. played to 600,000 people and um, uh, jammed every night, had a lot of fun, and um, it, it was, you know, I'm really glad I did that because Jerry wasn't around much longer after that. No, he wasn't. No, there there was very little that we got after that. No, and, to... and he seemed pretty healthy, you know. When we started that tour, he was he was you know clear headed and in good shape. And and I remember talking to him and telling him, you know, how glad I was to see him feeling better. And and then pretty soon he was gone, so that was tough. And you know, ironically, it was at the end of that summer he had that major collapse, and they canceled a huge fall '92 tour. So. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't much longer after that. Now you sounded great with them, and and I just had to you know when I was thinking about you, I remember those shows so much because you were and when they when they brought you out there, I remember the roar of the crowd to see you out there interacting with them. Well, we yeah, I mean we we've, we've played together many times before that, and and uh, it was it was it was really a special tour, and and I still see Mickey and Bobby all the time. In fact, I just did a. a concert with uh, Bob Weir and Rat Dog. We had them on our show in Boston not too long ago. Last oh, summer, so. that's tasty. 
Yeah, yeah, it was real good. I'm envious of missing that. I used to actually work in Boston for a long time. I would have liked to have seen that one. Yeah, yeah, it was a good, really good one. It was. We've been strongly supporting uh, something you did with the legendary Les Paul, uh, and that is the remake of Fly Like an Eagle from American Made, Les Paul and Friends. Oh, uh, that's great. <laughs> and it's been one of the... We're a, we're a station that, if you look on Media Base, we, we strongly support the current classics by... Uh, by artists of you know from your era thank uh, you you're welcome and it's our pleasure to do it because we want to see the music survive and the response that we get on the phone to that fly like an eagle is sick uh wh- <laughs> where's that vintage audio clip from that that opens up the tune well you know uh les paul was a a, a family friend and he and my dad were really good friends and um that was probably recorded in 1949 or something like that at our house when I was a little kid. And uh, Les taught me my first chords, and uh, that's how I learned about recording and, and music was from Uncle Les, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I just played at Carnegie Hall with Les on his 90th birthday. And uh, he's still alive, still playing, works every Monday night at the Iridium in Manhattan, and still got it man i mean he's such a great great band leader and guitarist and and um it, it's just uh, it's amazing to be able you know he's been my my inspiration really my entire life and he's still here and still kicking so uh you know god bless him it's just the greatest and and to to do an album with him was just a kick you know you can imagine and he's such he's so sharp i mean he's like you know, uh, hasn't lost a, a brain cell. He's just as, as funny as he can be and still really plays beautifully. What's the name of that, that place in, in uh, New York every Monday that he gigs oh, at? Oh, he plays at, uh, it's a jazz club called the Iridium. Okay. It's a, you know, a, it's the, the cool place in Manhattan, and he's been playing there for years and years. He plays every Monday night. He does two shows there. And you go in, and it's just amazing who will be in the audience. You know, Tony Bennett will be on one side, and Jimmy Page will be there, and you know, uh, just the, you know, Eric Johnson. <laughs> I mean, just the greatest guitar players and and singers, and people all show up, and and we always have a great jam session. And, and, and you just that. re-recorded "Fly Like an Eagle" with him too, man. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's outrageous, man. Oh, uh, thank you. Ah, well, you're to be congratulated. That's really... Because a lot of folks are redoing tunes and stuff. You know that. I mean, a lot of people are covering other people's stuff. A lot of people are reinventing their own songs. Sure. And and uh, that's not a song that hasn't been reinvented by other folks through the years, yeah. as we, we all know. But you've... Yeah, it's just punching. Man. When people hear it on the radio, they always call. And I think it helps sell that record, and you're helping to do less. Well, I guess you're bringing it right back to less, if you will. Well, you know, um, with a guy like Les Paul, I mean, it's just... Uh, he created so much of uh, of what we take for granted now. You know, multi-track tape recorders, electric guitars. Uh, he he just you know made the tools we all use to make records, and uh, to be able to do anything with them is an honor. We're going to continue to support that tune strongly. Well, thank you. Thank and you. <laughs> is there going to be other new stuff finally as as we wrap this up? Is there anything oh, else? Oh yeah, you we're we're working uh, on a lot of new material, and uh, we're going to do a bunch of it when we get there. Of course, because it's you know it, the, the nature of the concert, we'll we'll have to go back to uh, you know things like living in the USA, take a look at Children of the Future and, and Sailor and the, the real early albums, and we'll have to pull out some tunes from from that for this concert because uh, you know you can't just not play that stuff when it when it's uh, 36 years later you know <laughs> that's, that's amazing that's so cool you're on it with the date you're like you're looking at your songbook from that era oh sure yeah you're the king we love we, that you know this is really what i do is really fun you know this is this is like uh, something we really look forward to we always love to play concerts and and when it's a really special one i mean every concert honestly is special it's something we look forward to but this one is really special so we, we can't wait to get there and see everybody and have a really wonderful concert and relive the feeling of like looking out from the stage at the at the on the uh, at the crater yeah and at night <laughs> it's gonna be all lit that'll be beautiful 
Uh, it's going to be huge. Well, we look forward to welcoming you to the Crater you, Celebration Dave. April 1st at Diamond Head. And hopefully when you're in town, Steve, I just want to put this bug in your ear. I'd love to be able to spend a short amount of time with you and, and just tape a brief interview uh, with like a small mini disc player, if that would be all right. I'm, I'm sure we can find some time to do that, you know, around sound check or something like that. I bet we can do it. You're a monster. I appreciate that. Well, a big, you're welcome, Dave. Thank you. Uh, a big mahalo to the legendary Steve Guitar Miller for being on Cape Hoy, 105.9 The Big Kahuna. Thanks, Steve. Okay, you guys take care, Dave, and thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you. Uh, you know, I'm sure you can get backstage, right? And yeah, I, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll, I'm assuming that the, that the publicist and stuff will be able to handle my request. Just keep an eye out for my name if you can try to try to remember that. Okay. <laughs> I know you're a busy cat, but... Uh, well, I'm not too busy, so um, I'll see you backstage at, at Soundcheck. That's when you should shoot for it. That's that's the best time for us to get together. I will plan on it, and I appreciate it. Okay, Dave. Take care, man. Thanks for your help with the show. Can't thank you enough. See you in a minute. Travel safe. Okay, thanks. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. It's Steve Miller, and I'm listening to my pal Dave Lawrence. Hey, Dave, I just realized what time it is. It's 4.20. 